Welcome to the Know Yourself channel, we're making astrology known and understandable as the number one priority. I'm the Scottish Astrologer and in this video I'm going to have an in-depth look at the planet Mars, okay? Now Mars is the first planet above the Earth and Moon's orbit. He goes round the Sun in 686 days and 4 hours approximately. He exalts in Capricorn and is in fall in Cancer and is in detriment in Libra and Taurus. He is retrograde for 80 days and is stationary two or three days before retro retrogradation and for two days before going direct. His orb is seven degrees before and after any of his aspects. Now Mars is a masculine nocturnal planet, hot and dry in nature. He's fiery and choleric, known as the smaller in fortune. He is the author of quarrel, strife, battle and war, and dissensions. Mars rules the, the head, face, gal, and the attractive faculty of man. If Mars is a ruler of the natal chart, or ruler of the ascendant, or on the ascendant, okay, at the time of birth on a natal chart, he gives a strong, well-set body of a short stature, but with large bones more lean than fat with a brown ruddy complexion, red, sandy or light brown or blonde hair, sharp, hazel eyes, a round face, bold and confident looking, active and very fearless. If well dignified also, Mars produces someone with an invincible disposition, someone unsusceptible to fear or danger, always putting themselves in danger, okay? unwilling to submit to any superior uh, and someone who wants victory or to win no matter what the cost. And yet prudent, very prudent in the management of his or her own private concerns. Now if Mars is ill-dignified and evilly aspected on a natal chart, then Mars will produce someone without honesty and decency, someone who blows their own trumpet a lot, so to speak. Someone who loves quarrels and drama in their lives, prone to wickedness, they'll be rash, inhumane, violent, cruel, oppressive, and a very treacherous person. Now if Mars is oriental at birth, it produces someone above middle stature, very hairy, of a clearer complexion. If occidental, then the person will be short, of a more ruddy complexion, a small head with blonde hair, and a rather dry constitution. Again, everything I have mentioned is in general, and as always, the natal chart must be studied as an aspect, etc. could slightly offset the description I have just mentioned. So please always study the whole natal chart. Now, diseases under Mars are fevers, moorings, yellow jaundice, burns and scaldings, blisters, ringworms, Diseases of the genitals, frenzy fevers, wounds of every kind, stones in the reins and bladder, inscuria, diabetes, shingles, smallpox, cholera and choleric diseases. St. Anthony's fire, bruises, overflowing of the gal and all effects that come after anger and passion. Now, herbs and plants ruled and governed by Mars are asthma, Barberry bush, bramble, sweet basil, broom rape, brook lime, butcher's broom, crowfoot, betony, okay, cane's bill, wake robin, toad flax, cotton thistle, garlic, cawthorn, hurt bush, hops, rocket, mustard, hedge mustard, dittany, onions, cardoos, radish, horseradish, rhubarb, Repontic thistles, star thistle, woody thistle, dyer's weed, wormwood, birthwort, chamomile thistle, danewort, cornel tree, amphorbium, spearwort, white hellbore, okay, sponge, laurel steel, leeks, monk's hood, scamony, coloquintida, Devil's milk, nettles, briars, peppers, red sanders, 
ginger, uh, camoc, whorehound, and all prickly and thorny trees. And you want to gather Mars herbs when Mars is at the mid heaven, okay, and well placed, etc., if possible, and also with a nice trine or sextile from the moon. You don't want any bad aspects uh, going to the planet at the time you're harvesting the herbs, but if someone's really, really ill and you've no option, you, you're just going to have to go for it. But it's, it's recommended, obviously, to be no ill aspects to Mars, etc. But always make sure Mars is in the mid-heaven when you collect the herbs of Mars, okay? Now, stones and metals under Mars are jasper, touchstone, bloodstone, adamant, antimony, vermilion, and iron, okay? Now, animals under Mars are the tiger, the panther, and all ravenous and wild beasts. Also, the barbell, the forkfish, the shark, pike, and stinging water creatures like jellyfish, etc. Of birds, we have the raven, the vulture, the hawk, the kite, magpies, and all birds of prey. Now, signs in triplicity. Mars rules Aries by day and Scorpio by night. He rules the water triplicity by day and night, okay? And he joys in Scorpio, okay? So, that's the sign Mars is most happiest in, is Scorpio. So why, why would Mars be more happier in Scorpio than Aries, for instance? Well, it's because, like I just mentioned, Mars rules the water triplicity, okay? So, Scorpio being a water sign, Mars being the ruler of Scorpio and in triplicity in Scorpio, it's pretty obvious that Mars would joy more in Scorpio than in Aries, for instance. So, that's why it is. That's why Mars joys more in Scorpio than Aries, like I just explained. Now, if Mars is a ruling planet of the zodiac sign in the ninth house on your natal chart, and well placed, etc., or if we're talking about horary astrology, then you will have a danger of robbery, loss of life, and all bad things that could occur when you travel, okay? So be aware of that. The first phase of Aries, the second phase of Gemini, the third phase of Leo, the first phase of Scorpio, the second phase of Capricorn and the third phase of Pisces are all attributed to Mars, okay? Now guys, I thank you very much for watching this video. Please share, subscribe if you haven't already. Please give a, a like, it really helps me out, ratings wise and viewability on YouTube really, uh, the more likes a video has. So if you could do that, that'd be a big help to me and I truly appreciate it and I thank you for doing that. Uh, also, if you hit the bell at the right hand side of the subscribe button, you will be updated uh, on your YouTube whenever I put up a new video, you will instantly uh, be aware of that, okay? So don't forget to hit the bell at the right hand side of the subscribe button. Now again guys, a big thank you for watching this video, I hope uh, this has helped people out, I hope you found some of the information in this video useful, helpful to you in your astrological studies and journey into learning astrology. Uh, I'll have a, my next video up after this one will be inside the moon, okay, and then after that we'll have Venus and until I do all seven, okay, so we're going to have an inside series that includes all seven of the planets, so look out for the moon, that'll be up soon. Okay guys, a big thanks again for watching, and like I said, see you again soon with the new video, Inside the Moon. Look out for that. Bye guys.